My wonderful patient Jesus has been kind enough to allow us to to show you some things that are very important when it comes to male facelift. The details of a facelift are obviously extremely important for both women and men. But with men, we have to consider facial hair. So with facial hair, we have to choose our incision design. In male patients with facial hair, we have essentially two options with incision design. Because of the beard, if we want the beard not to shift onto the tragus, we can make an incision that follows the helix and then comes out in front of the helix and then wraps around the lobule. The problem with that is, in my experience, this incision here, despite our best efforts, is oftentimes very visible because all we have tragus skin and all of a sudden an, an incision and beard growth. The other option is to make what's called a tragal incision, which Jesus has. So that incision follows the helix, then comes onto the tragus itself, and then continues and wraps around the lobule and behind the ear and in the hair. Now the downside of this incision is that it shifts the hair bearing portion of skin onto the tragus itself. So we've got to pick between two evils in male incision facelift design. Now, I have this discussion with my male patients a lot. Typically, when we get into our 50s and 60s, we begin to have a little bit of hair growth on our tragus anyway. So that's one thing to consider. The other thing to consider is that if this hair on the tragus itself is very bothersome, there are ways that we can get rid of that hair, such as electrolysis. But in my practice, oftentimes I like a tragal incision simply because I would rather have hair on the tragus that we can deal with versus an incision that's very visible in front of the tragus.